Hey, so this is how you make a kit. I'll walk you through it really quick. Um, so I started a new kit. So I clicked new kit and then I filled out all this information and then clicked next. I'm gonna go back because I already started this one. Um, and you'll come to a screen that kind of looks like this. You'll have a box in the top left that sh asks you um, if you want to add questions or stuff like that. And I believe if I click edit, yep. So in the top corner, it says add question, flashcards. Kit Collab is kind of like a place you can go to get other questions that people already made or kits people already made to add it in. Um, or you can add from a question bank Oh, sorry, Kit Collab, you can work with your classroom and they can help you make questions. And then, or you can import from a spreadsheet. So I'm gonna be adding questions here. Um, I'm trying to think of one. Um, what time do you have to be on Zoom to be present for the day? And then you can type in the answers. And then that'll pop up on there. So that's one type of question you can make. Another type of question in the top, you can change it to text input, and then you can like write a um, sentence and put in a blank and they have to fill it in. Um, you can record your voice and maybe they have to um, write a spelling word. That's a fun way to do it. Um, this is a good place to put task cards instead of putting them around the room. It's a little bit more interactive um, and you just add a picture of it and then write the answer for those. Um, and that's how you make the questions. Once you're finished with the kit, you just click finish kit and then it'll pop up on here. Um, so that's the first part. Second part are assignments. To be able to assign stuff, you first have to make a class. Um, to do that, you just click new class, type it in, um, and it'll give you, I believe, a code to give your classroom, and then they'll be able to log in and just find their name. So it's a little bit easier. You don't always have to give them a different code. Um, and it's easier because it grades it on here for you if you have your name, their names in there. So um, let's say you, you made a kit, e-learning expectations. You want to assign it for homework to um, one of your classes. Um, you can go to, remember, kits, click assign homework and then find that class you want to assign it to, um, find the due date, um, target cash. They normally put it a little too high, I think for our level, because they have to get to that amount of cash before it is marked complete. Um, so I would do like 5,000 or probably less, because um, it just filters through the same questions until they get to that amount of money, but they can buy upgrades, like it multiplies how much money they get per question. So I do like around a thousand maybe, um, and then you can click create assignment and use that link, just copy it and then put it either into class kick or into canvas. You can add links in there. Um, other way you can play is more like Kahoot, which is fun for in-class sessions. Um, click play live. And then it gives you options to do team mode or classic. Team mode is good if you're doing differentiated groups. Um, and you can kind of give them some more help. So sometimes I'll do team groups and have the lowest kids sitting with me and I will help them um, with their individual ones. You can assign it to your class. Um, you can start them with more money if you want to, so then they can have a little bit more fun. I would always turn off clapping because that gets annoying at the very end. They can tap their screen and clap. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. And then um, power-ups are things that they can buy to... Um, to kind of help themselves so they can, like I said, they can buy like multiply how much money I get per question. They can buy um, themes, they can buy sabotages. So they could freeze another student's um, screen for 10 seconds if they're doing really well. And so if you don't want them to do that, then you can just take 
the make it clean and then it'll take off those sabotages um, and then you just click continue and the kids will get on gim kit slash play and i normally just keep that on a class kick so they just or make it a app so you click this top button up here after they get on gim kit slash play and then you can scroll down and scroll maybe kind of forget how to do it Maybe it's add to home screen and then it makes it an app on their home screen so they don't have to always type it in um, and then they'll find their name and it gives them a screen that they have to tap and they can draw until everyone gets loaded in. Um, and I think that's about it from the teacher side. If you have questions, just let me know.